Well, it's great to have this opportunity to spend a few minutes with you to explain why I think that understanding the family impact of psoriasis really matters to you as, as a clinician. Uh, my name is uh, Andrew Finlay, and I'm based in Cardiff in the UK. Now, I must give a declaration of interest at the start of this. I'm joint copyright owner of the um, From 16 and the FDLQI and a number of other uh, quality of life measures. Now, here, this drawing is meant to represent, as you can see, uh, a dermatologist speaking to a patient. Perhaps she's got psoriasis. Uh, but I want you to focus uh, for the next few minutes, not on her, but on the person sitting next to her, her partner. And her partner is not looking too happy either. Uh, and that's because his life is also being impacted by the fact uh, that the person with psoriasis uh, has a, a condition which is uh, affecting several aspects of his life. So what I want to cover with you today is just to briefly look at the burden experienced by partners and family members, how this affects your patient care, or how understanding it affects your patient care. I want to explain a little bit about the ways that uh, have been developed to measure this impact. And of course, at the end, the next big challenge is to how to fix these problems that we've uh, unearthed. Now, the, the greater patient concept is an idea that we put forward to describe the immediate close social group affected by a person having skin disease. So it's become really very well understood that having a skin disease can, in many uh, circumstances, cause big problems for that person who's affected. But the impact on partners and family members has until very recently been either completely ignored or people just didn't know about it. They just weren't aware of it. So it's a major hidden burden of, of skin disease and a hidden burden of psoriasis. We carried out a study some years ago in which we interviewed uh, a number of partners and family members of people with psoriasis. And you can see here the areas of life of the life of these partners and family members that were affected so you know three quarters of them uh said that housework was more difficult uh, over half of them said they'd had some emotional distress over half of them had disruption to their social lives and many had problems with holidays uh, vacations sport leisure daily activities close personal relationships were all uh were all affected not in the patient uh, well, they were in the patient, but but in this study, in the partner and family member. And we actually later extended this study across the whole of medicine, looking at 26 different medical specialties. So this isn't an issue that's confined to dermatology. To, uh, it, it's, it, it's across the whole of medicine that partners and family, med, uh, and family members experience a huge impact of, uh, of their, the person in their family having a, uh, a health condition. And you can see all these areas of life that have been, that are affected, that people told us about were affected. Now, why does this matter to you? If we as clinicians are more aware of this family quality of life impact uh, that our patient skin disease is having on those close to them, this may result in closer engagement of the family member in the care of the person with psoriasis, for example. It may uh, challenge us as clinicians and healthcare, healthcare professionals to address this family impact. Uh, we, we, once we know about it, we can't totally ignore it anymore. Uh, it may result in enhanced drug adherence because we know that partners and family members are really important in encouraging people to stick to their uh, treatment re regimens. It may give us insights into whether additional patient support is needed, uh, insights in whether to seek extra expert advice for the patient or indeed for the family member. It may help us to decide, you know, when should we next review this patient? When, um, you know, what's the most appropriate follow up? And, you know, is it possible to discharge this person or not from our care? Knowing a little bit about the family impact may help us to give it better informed uh, clinical decisions. So if we take this uh, family photograph 
the lady in the center let's pretend that she has severe psoriasis well if she has it's not just her life that's affected it's also her partner and her children's lives may be affected in many different ways now we tried to develop ways to measure this over the years we first got interested in this uh, as many dermatologists are well, all dermatologists i would say must be aware that a having a child with severe atopic eczema results in a major major problems in the lives of the parents of that child and every dermatologist will have experienced the uh, uh discussing uh the uh issues of childhood atopic eczema with, with very anxious uh parents who can't sleep and who are whose life whose family life has been severely disrupted so we we created a questionnaire to measure that particular impact of atopic dermatitis that led us on to realizing that this was an issue across the whole of uh, dermatology we developed the family dlqi and also about the same time we developed a psoriasis specific measure called the psoriasis family impact questionnaire then our interest in this whole subject uh, widened as we realized that this was a, an issue across the whole of medicine and we developed the from 16 family reported outcome measure which is a generic measure which can be used to measure the impact of any disease on partners and family members and i'll explain a little bit to you why that may be useful in relationship to psoriasis now the the family dlqi which is used across um can be used across all skin diseases asks these 10 questions which really summarize the way in which partners and family members have told us that their lives have been affected by having somebody in the family uh, with psoriasis and the psoriasis specific family measures are, are that, that we're aware of are the psoriasis family impact measure the pfi 14 that we developed in cardiff um, some years ago and more recently family family so that was published in, in in 2017 so there are two different questionnaires that you can use to measure uh, the partner and family impact of psoriasis the reason that the family reported outcome measure from 16 may be of particular help uh, this questionnaire by the way we created and validated across 26 different medical specialties including dermatology and it covers two domains emotional and personal and social life the reason that this may be of relevance to psoriasis is that it gives us not only comparative data between say psoriasis and other skin disease but we're using this questionnaire we've got the potential to uh, be able to compare the family impact of psoriasis to the family impact of any other disease and although we're, we've got uh, we're just gathering information about this I would predict that we're going to find that the family impact of psoriasis is uh is not only high but maybe greater than the family impact of many other uh, diseases in medicine uh, adding further a further stronger argument for more resources uh, to the care of people with psoriasis this is what the family reported outcome measure from 16 looks like it's a very simple questionnaire 16 very simple questions just with only three answers uh, three possible answers for each question and importantly we've just um, recently uh, finished uh, a, a very large study involving 4,400 family members of people with a wide range of different uh, health conditions in order to create a validated score banding from the from 16. some of you may be familiar with the validated score banding for the DLQI but this is score banding for the from 16 and you can see that any uh, anybody any family member who has a score of greater than 16 is experiencing a very large impact on their quality of life from 16 is being used now in quite a number of countries around the world uh, and in an increasing number of different diseases uh, we've got a number of studies uh, going on in Cardiff at the moment uh, to widen uh, our understanding of this whole area using from 16 and I should say that we are very keen to have international collaborators so if anyone uh, listening to this uh, brief uh, talk is interested uh, in using from 16 please get in touch we'd be happy to uh, to discuss things with you uh, 
the PROM16 was validated in, in Poland uh, about um, two years ago. And this validation included patients from endocrinology, oncology, and dermatology, including six psoriasis patients. Just uh, further uh, evidence of the, uh, of the use of PROM16 in psoriasis. And as an example of other, other areas that we've been able to explore using PROM16, this was a study that we published in BMJ Open uh, last year, in which we used PROM16 to measure the impact of COVID-19 on the quality of life quality of life of uh, not only of the survivors but of their partners and family members so this study gave uh, generated really for the first time uh, quantitative uh, information about the impact of uh, covid on on family members not just on the partners so uh, in conclusion partner and family impact of psoriasis has often been ignored. Well, I should say usually been ignored. Many people are really just unaware of the huge impact that psoriasis has on the lives of the family members of people with psoriasis. And understanding this may have some clinical benefit. These generic FROM16 scores, generic because FROM16 can be used across the whole of medicine, do have clinical meaning. And so it's possible that in some clinical situations, the use of FROM16 might be helpful uh, to uh, the clinical, uh, informing clinical decision-taking. So thank you very much for your attention.